Hello and welcome back to Alex Goes Sailing. Today I'm reviewing the Vico S21, which is a Polish trailer sailor. First off, thanks to the kind people at Boats on Wheels for actually putting on this triad trailer sailor weekend, as it was loads of fun with all the different boats, which you'll see me reviewing in some coming episodes. Now onto the Vico S21. It hit the UK market in 2017 as a simple, spacious, entry-level family cruiser that you could easily trailer sell if needed. It's priced from £27,500 including VAT, with a long list of options that can be added. Now here are some boat specs for you. A length of 21 feet or 6.5 metres, a beam of 8 feet or 2.5 metres. For the draft, it depends on the keel type, but you can get in some very shallow waters, which is great for any trailer sailor. A displacement from 950 kilograms, depending on the keel options, of which there are three. A lightweight swing keel, or a bold keel either lifting or fixed, with a ballast of about 450 kilograms. The most popular being the lifting keel, and the one I'd probably pick. It has a sail area of 23 square meters, and adding an optional furling Jenica brings 26 square meters. Inside you get a standing headroom of 5 foot 4 or 165 centimeters, with four berths including a very clever double under the cockpit at the back. Now on the water I had a lovely sail in light winds of about 7 to 8 knots, with more or less in places. Sat at the helm you fell quite high up due to a high freeboard, but this means you feel quite protected. The tiller position feels quite natural and very responsive with a single rudder. The main sheet control is located in the middle of the cockpit, which makes it easy to adjust for the helm or crew. The sheets run back to the winches on either side of the companionway, with some adjustment in the sheeting angle using a track and a car. All lines run back to the cockpit, and you also have some adjustment in the backstay. Some cool options you can get are flexi teak decks, spray hoods to lazy bags, and even cockpit backrests, which are definitely a must. You also get a cockpit locker with access from the top, which is really handy to have too. Now, I logged the sale of the Vico, which you can see in the first segment of the graph, with the second segment being of a Racier Sun 2000, which you can see in another review coming up. The most I saw in the light conditions was five and a half knots with a gust, and averaging a little over four knots, and these were between close hauled and a reach. Good speed considering the light winds, I think. Now turning our attention to the inside, we have a very spacious and simple interior that's quite practical and efficient. It has two berths up front and a clever double in the back which is very nice as you can see. You can also opt to get a private head that even comes with a door which is rare to find on a boat of this size. You get a good amount of room in the galley area with pumped water and a good 12 volt electrical system that you can add options to above the standard fit out. For the interior finishes you have a wide choice of woods, fabrics and floors which is nice and I quite like it with the lighter finishes as it is a small boat. There are also plenty of windows for light to get into the boat and a big opening hatch forward which is great for ventilation. If you really want to you can opt for 6 more windows. The table in the middle is great and also houses the keel system. Build quality is the next important thing to consider when getting a boat. I found that the Vico was well put together and had a solid feel to it. No creaking, flexing or anything of the sort. The fit and finish inside and out was very neat and tidy with tight seams and joints around the interior. Now let's turn our attention to the trailer sailing ability of the Vico S21. This applies for the lifting and swing keel variants with the swing keel version being a little easier to get onto the trailer as it has a flat bottom. As always with trailer sailing, the mast raising is the most tricky part. The S21 has a very clever solution to this. An optional A-frame system that stays in situ, meaning that you don't have to spend a lot of time setting it all up and removing it. As you can see, there is a pulley system that makes it easy to lift and lower the mast, and it has a pin that locks it in place once the mast has been raised. There is a frame at the back of the boat that catches and supports the mast for transport, Overall, a very simple and safe and easy system, which means you can get on the water faster, which is great. The weight of the lifting kill version on a trailer is about one and a half ton, so bear that in mind for the car you want to tow with, as it needs to have the correct rating. 
Now to conclude, I think it's one of the best trailer sailors for cruising and exploring out there and especially for a small family or a couple that just want to get out sailing and have a great time on a well-mannered boat. It's also a fancy looking boat that's simple, practical, trailerable and easily set up which is great for anyone with any ability. I definitely recommend going over to the Boats on Wheels website or the Vico website to get more information and I will leave those links in the description below. Now I hope you like this review and test sail of the Vico S21. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below and also what other boats should I review. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.